10 out of 10. Yup, 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 yup. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She ate that. She ate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so the move today is gonna be office siren core. So we need to find an outfit that's gonna match that. Okay, this is the outfit we're going with today. It's a black dress top and black dress pants. Okay, it's very casual, very cute, and very cunty. And then these are the shoes. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, hello, my name is Sarah and I'm glad you clicked on this video and I hope that you watch till the end and I hope you love it. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and you hit that bell so that you never miss a video. Make sure that you hit the bell twice so you get the notifications. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about Office Siren Core. Office Siren Corp was popularized in the early 2000s while Y2K and the emo pop punk aesthetic were at the forefront. In my personal opinion, Office Siren Court originated in the late 90s. And I know I'm probably going to get some comments for that, but it's true. And I will show you guys. Lots of movies and TV shows popularized this trend. With the rise of jobs and corporatism, people wanted to create a way to look fashionable, sexy, and still dress professional. High-end brands like Calvin Klein, Tom Ford, Prada, Gucci, Chanel, Fendi helped popularize this trend. Of course, we can't talk about Office Siren without mentioning... The devil wears Prada. <laughs> the devil wears Prada is a movie that premiered in 2006. It's a great movie for fashion lovers or just the nostalgic Gen C. And I love that movie. I've seen it so, so many times. When that movie came out, I was six years old. And, you know, you could do the math on that. How old I am now. But whatever. Um, and I still watch the movie to this day i love the outfits you know love anne hathaway love meryl streep everybody gave such a great performance the film showcases a number of different office siren core styles each character's clothes fit them in a unique way and one of the things i love about this film is that it demonstrates a way to look tantalizing and seductive but without showing too much skin outfits that are work appropriate but can also be worn to events most Office Siren Core outfits rely heavily on darker colors, black, red, gray, and most rarities in bright colors include white, yellow, and pink. Calvin Klein's ready-to-wear collection that hit the runway in 1996 prepped women and fashion alumni for the Office Siren trend that would come to be within a few years. Other brands would also follow suit that year. Prada released their spring collection that same year. You can tell that they really wanted it to be high fashion, but not as accessible to others by the way that the clothes were styled. A lot of the pieces shown had olive green, faded yellow, soft violet, and many earth tones. Miu Miu, I hope I'm saying that right, and I apologize if I'm not. Um, Miu Miu is a brand that is synonymous with the Office Siren Core, just as much as Calvin Klein. A lot of people credit Calvin Klein with popularizing the rise in trend of the office siren core and i do as well because a lot of calvin klein's clothes like even if you go to macy's right now or you go to bloomingdale's or whatever mall you go to if you go to those places and you see calvin klein there a lot of their clothes are business formal casual but still professional and a lot of people like you know like if they're looking to get into this aesthetic that's the brand that they would go for first because it's more affordable than the high-end brands not to say that Calvin Klein isn't high-end because they are. Um, that shit is expensive. And I know from experience of me trying to find outfits to wear to job interviews. What I would recommend if you can't afford these brands is to thrift. Thrifting is always going to be your best friend. Or go to low-income, affordable stores. I was going to name some, but I live in Florida. So it's different for everyone depending on your area. In 1996, Miu Miu casted new fashion it girl Chloe Savini to open their spring show after the hit movie she starred in Kids Took Off. And I do this a lot in my videos. I go off on tangents when I talk about certain things. But one thing I do want to mention about Chloe Savini, love Chloe Savini, love her style, love the movies that she's been in. She's a great actress. 
Kids is such a good film and I really, really suggest that you watch it if you haven't seen it. I saw that movie when I was a freshman in high school and it's different to see it with different eyes now, now that I'm a young adult, but I really suggest that you watch it. It's a cautionary tale. Um, you know, a lot of graphic stuff, but it's, it's a good movie. Shout out to Harmony Corinne. Anyways, many of the pieces shown in the 1996 Miu Miu Spring Collection were relaxed and casual wear with lots of light colors. A lot of the high fashion brands took inspo from each other, but it was executed in a way in which they made it their own. And TV shows like Girlfriends, Friends, The Nanny, Will and Grace, Just Shoot Me, My Wife and Kids showcased numerous couture outfits. Pieces worn include blazers, blouses, dress shirts, skirts, mini and pencil skirts, tailored vests, zip shirts, collared shirts, flats, closed toed shoes, boots, heels. Modern day adaptations of the office siren core look include the bayonetta glasses or just square rimmed reading glasses, minimal jewelry if any, scarves, slicked back hair, a high ponytail, any kind of updo. Makeup is also minimal to light. The main focus is on the eyes which plays into the siren aesthetic. Clean girl makeup fits this aesthetic personally. More and more people are incorporating winged eyeliner in their looks neutral browns, black, light transition shades for eyeshadow, blush if worn is bright but not too bright. People mostly go for like a berry red shade or if you're fair skinned you'll go for a nice light pink look. Lipstick is usually matte, lightly glossed or with colors like red, burgundy, nude, pink. And lip pencils are usually brown or a darker red. I predict we will see a rise in this trend on social platforms. I first noticed a significant spike on TikTok of the trend and I noticed that people are posting a lot of pictures of, you know, Bella Hadid and this um, other, I think she's a model, I'm not sure, Gabriette. A lot of the siren core makeup looks started to come after they were doing, you know, their looks and they were coming out and paparazzi was catching Bella Hadid all the time in her casual wear. And yeah, Bella Deed is, she's an it girl. She's a trendsetter. So, you know, if she does it, the girls are going to do it too. And it looks great. The office siren core aesthetic is kind of reminiscent of another trend that's very popular right now. The clean girl makeup trend, which I infamously hate. But it is, you know, accessible to people if you're on the go and you have to go to work 8 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. You know, you don't got time to like bust out a full beat you know just a little something that says hey i'm here i'm a bad bitch and i'm ready to work and i get that i like that and the office siren core makeup is different from clean girl makeup to me because there is work on the eyes you know it's not just we just pop on some tinted moisturizer and go i like that and i like that a lot of the people that are doing their office siren core makeup is like really showing how they do their eyes and how it plays in with that aesthetic. That would literally kill me. That's really. It was so unhinged. I would kill myself if you were to die. If you were to die, I would literally kill myself. I kind of want to give context to that last clip because it's just too funny that I, I had to keep it in. What we're, we're referring to is a commercial that they kept showing about COVID. And this one guy was talking to his friend and was saying, like, if you don't get the vaccine, like, and you die, I'll literally kill myself. And they always show that shit. And I just think it's so hilarious. One person that I haven't seen mention in the office siren court discussion is Olivia Pope. Olivia Pope had those outfits down okay she was eating every single day okay every single outfit was professional high-end elegant and well-crafted and i love that scandal is making a comeback now and people are talking about it and one day we're going to get into the tea on those two lead actors but that's for another video anyways decided to do this look because it was very easy and accessible and you can get this look just using drugstore makeup products and as you can see, my makeup is eating for the fucking gods. Yes, look at me. The highlight, the glow, everything looks so great. And for my outfit, which I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds, I got my shoes from Walmart. Yes, I'm poor. And my pants were thrifted. They're dress pants. The t-shirt. 
I got while thrifting and the come over jacket is from runway and it's funny because in this next clip I just watch I just got fucking fired I just got fired I'm actually kind of fucking happy like when they were like oh we're sorry we have to part ways with you blah 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 and even beg for my job like why the fuck would I beg to work for this shitty place I'm so fucking happy and now I can drop the why I quit Mac video with all of my fucking receipts so that you know the real team and the shit that they were doing there if you didn't catch that last part I got fired um we're gonna talk about that in another video with all the receipts if you guys like this one make sure that you like subscribe and hit that bell please comment down below and let me know what you thought and try this look out.